everyone, something a bit different today. I'm going to be reviewing the new Dyson Supersonic hair dryer. Um, now, I don't normally do singular reviews on things like this, but so many of my friends and family have asked me about this, and normally they're not bothered about beauty whatsoever. They couldn't care less, half of them. Um, but they've all been banging on about the Dyson. Um, maybe at the end, I should probably do this, I might wet my hair and then see how it um, compares to my normal hair dryer, which is the Parlux 385. And this isn't a sponsored video, it's not been paid for in any way. And um, this is a press sample, but I'm not under any obligation to review it or anything like that. So um, I haven't actually used it before. I've had a stylist use it on my hair this morning, but I haven't actually used it. So this is kind of unboxing and first thoughts really. And all of the technical specifications and all of the marketing things that Dyson would probably want you to know about the hairdryer, like it's had 50 million spent on the research and all that kind of stuff. Um, you can find out online, but probably what you want to know is does it work, is it worth the money? Um, so that's what we're going to find out. Um, it's £299. If you haven't seen this in the news already, that is why it's got quite a lot of drama around it, I suppose, um, because it is kind of state-of-the-art technology and it's expensive. So, let's have a little look at the unboxing, shall we? So it came in a lovely white cardboard box, just very modern and plain. And then inside that, a leather sort of carry case, I suppose, although it doesn't really have a handle on it. And big enough to hold the hairdryer and the nozzle. It comes with um, the smoothing nozzle, which is the standard nozzle inside the actual case, and then there's a separate box with two more nozzles in, but this is what comes in the case. And then there's a heat proof mat as well, and a little instruction booklet. Now let's give this a hold. So this is it without any nozzles on. The motor for this is actually in the handle rather than in a normal hairdryer like this one. Although this, I have to say, is very fast and very, very light and very good. Um, a normal one would have the motor here and the air gets sucked from here and then comes out here. Um, so you've kind of, although you're holding it with this handle, the weight of it is in the top. Now the main difference that you can feel immediately with this one is that the weighting is in the handle and not in the top. Now it doesn't feel particularly light, it's not, you know, wow, that doesn't feel like anything. But I have to say that the hand feel of it, if that's the right word, it feels very luxurious and the weighting is really nice. You know like when you use really nice um, kitchen knives, like expensive kitchen knives, and it's got a really cleverly weighted handle that makes everything easier? That's sort of what this feels like. Let's stick a nozzle on this. I think it's this one that came with it, the smoothing nozzle, so just a standard one. I have to say, what I love about this, and I've only just done it for myself, but this morning the hairstylist was popping off these um, nozzles on and off the end of this. Magnetic. Putting, I know this is only a really stupid small thing to do in life, but taking nozzles on and off the end of hair dryers really does my head in. It's always really clunky, isn't it, and hard to do. That just fits on like that. Yeah, really easy. I wonder if you knocked that, yeah, if you knocked it really hard, it would come off, but not in normal use. Let's have a look at the controls. Now, can I just say that already I am, this is gonna be edited down, but I'm six minutes into this video, and at first I thought that this felt quite heavy in comparison to this one. But now when I go back to picking this one up, this one just, seems to have melded into my hand and it's got a really nice feel to it. Um, whereas this one, I think is maybe slightly lighter, but it doesn't feel so um, ergonomic, I suppose is the right word. Right, controls on the back of here, we've got an on off switch. This is gonna work then, that would be embarrassing, wouldn't it? So that's your on off switch. I mean, that is really, hold on, let's see what this one sounds like. Everything feels very precision, um, very engineered, which I suppose 
is what you would expect. I mean, that's what they're selling this on, and um, and it it ticks that box. So on off switch, cool shot at the back there, and then you've got your um, temperature controls. So just press it up and down to increase or decrease the temperature, and then. You've got your speed as well. Very nice, very easy to use. Now the main selling points of this that I found out this morning are that um, it's got quite an advanced temperature control in it. But basically it monitors the temperature all the time, like loads of times a second, to make sure that it's not getting too hot and so it doesn't burn your hair. Lots of hair dryers go really, really, really hot, over 200 degrees and um, it can damage your hair. This one has been designed to keep it at a lower temperature um, so that it keeps your hair healthy. Which made me think, is this going to be as effective as a normal hair dryer? I'm not quite sure because surely it's the heat that dries your hair. But it's faster and more powerful is the idea behind this. So you're still drying your hair um, in the same amount of time or faster than your normal hair dryer, um, just with less damage. I love the feel of it. Um, I love the fact that it's quieter. I like this magnetic nozzle business. That's very, very good. And although it's not something that I can actually see, I like the fact that it's got this temperature control on it. And, you know, it does feel very nicely weighted. But I suppose the proof is going to be in the pudding or the drying of my hair. So I'm going to go and wet my hair and I should be back. This isn't very scientific, I'm sorry. It's just supposed to be a small guide to my first thoughts on this. Um, Where's my brush gone? I'm so professional with this video, I'll tell you. Oh, I don't know where the brush is. Right, let's start with the Dyson. Okay, look. Oh, stop. Two minutes 45, and that is pretty much dry as a, yeah, it is underneath as well, as dry as bone. Some of these bits from the back I haven't quite got, but I was messing around singing Celine Dion just to see whether you could hear me above the noise of the hairdryer. I was singing quite quietly. I have to say as well that that has dried my hair, even though I was just doing it roughly and with my fingers, that has dried it very, very smoothly. I haven't used any product on my hair, by the way. I didn't just wash it then either, I just went in the shower and wet it, which is quite a disgusting feeling. And it kind of smells like old dogs. Um, but let's try the parlets on the other side. Reset and start. on a feel. Now, is that as dry? I feel like the, oh, no, it's not dry at the ends. It's dry at the top. Let's just give it a bit more. Right, hold on, I'm just going to add a little bit more onto my time. Okay, three minutes 15 on that side and I mean, again, if I wasn't messing around, I think that things would be a lot easier. Still a little bit damp at the bottom. What I will say about this one is that I had to turn the heat down to medium because I can't ever use that on the hottest because it is so, so hot. It's also incredibly powerful and blowy. So I do find that it's quite difficult to sort of, even though it dries my hair really fast, it's quite difficult to do it in a controlled manner. Still got a bit of dampness under there. So when you try and do things like go into the roots and stuff, your hair just goes flying all over the place. I mean, obviously you can turn the power down. So it's nice to have that power there and you can turn it down. Um, but I do think that with the Dyson, it was a bit more of a refined drying experience. But then it's a lot more expensive, so, so it should be. Now in terms of smoothness, 
Can we see any difference? I mean, this feels smoother. I'm not sure whether it is smoother. Um, but I feel that it was easier to dry that side of my hair, maybe. Did it look easier? I purposely did the Dyson on this side as well because I find this side of my hair more difficult to dry because it's the wrong side. Um, so that had a bit of a tougher job. And I do think that it did dry it faster and with slightly less effort, really. So that's good. And definitely the, the feel of it is good. It feels very, very expensive and sleek, which it should do because it's £300, £299. You get a pound to buy some sweets on the way home. Everyone is going to be wanting to know whether I think this is worth £299. I always think that with very expensive items like this, um, it's all relative as well. You know, can you afford to spend £300 on a hairdryer? Is a hairdryer going to change your life? I'm not sure that it will, um, but it's definitely a very sleek and very effective gadget. I'm into Dyson. I've bought lots of Dyson gadgets over the years. I have two Dyson Hoovers and I think somewhere one of those kind of handheld Dysons. And I also have the fan um, that's kind of a bit like this and you can stick your hand through it and um, it doesn't have any blades and that's brilliant. That was so expensive, but to me it was worth every penny. It's quiet, it works really well. So I suppose, same with this. If you're into your hair, if you dry your hair a lot, if you, know, you find normal hairdresser to be a bit of a pain, then you might like the weighting on this one and it did do a very fast and good job of drying my hair. So I hope that's been helpful for you. Just as a price comparison, I think the Parlux 385 retails at about 140 or 130. You can get it a lot cheaper in lots of places, like um, sometimes it's on Amazon for a bit cheaper and stuff like that. Um, but so this is over twice the price. But you know, there's quite a difference there in the design of them. You can see where they've spent their money and, um, and all of that research has gone. So there we go, hope you found that helpful. Make sure that you like and you're subscribed for more videos. New beauty posts every day on the website, demodrecommends.com and um, yeah, see you next time.